For years, the Arab states banded together against Israel. But since the U.S. brokered Abraham Accords in 2020, winds of change have been flowing in the region. West Asian countries are choosing economy and stability over age-old rivalries like Naftali Bennett, who just wrapped up his visit to Bahrain. That's been a landmark trip for the Israeli leader, the first public visit by an Israeli head of government to Bahrain. This comes 17 months after the two countries normalized ties. Bennett's visit signals at a rapid realignment of West Asian politics. Several Arab states have normalized relations with Israel since the Abraham Accord signed in 2020. This includes the UAE, Bahrain, Sudan, Morocco. The visit also coming at a time when the Iran nuclear talks are continuing in Vienna. I think our goal in this visit is to turn it from government to government to people to people peace yes. uh, and to convert it from ceremonies to substance to substance we exactly. want to uh, uh, fill this uh, this relationship with substance and, and energy and drive israel's new alliances reflect one major fact major arab gulf powers and the jewish state share animosity towards iran and concerns over its nuclear program as well Israel and Bahrain also share a common ally, the United States. The Gulf nation hosts the U.S. Navy's 5th Fleet. Bennett also met the U.S. 5th Fleet Commander, Vice Admiral Brad Cooper, stressing upon, his role in, upon its role in maintaining regional stability in the face of threats. Bennett's Bahrain visit follows a visit by the Israeli Defense Minister, Benny Gantz. The two countries in the region have already signed a defense agreement. That deal covered intelligence, procurement and joint training as well. As part, as part of the agreements, Israel is set to post a naval official in Bahrain. For more on this, our correspondent Jody Cohen sent us this report. Take a look. Coinciding with Natalie Bennett's historic visit to Bahrain, where the two countries reportedly discussed a regional ring of alliances to defend against Iran, Israel has sent diplomats to Vienna, where the nuclear talks are taking place. This is the first time Israel has sent officials there in a last-ditch attempt to get its voice heard. Iran has called Israel's presence an obstacle to progress, as Israel believes the deal would keep Iran only six months away from nuclear breakout. It would also lift sanctions, enabling Tehran to divert funds to its nuclear program and proxies throughout West Asia, threatening the region. This is Jody Cohen for Beyond World is One. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.